For life's aches and pains, choose Blue Emu Continuous Pain Relief Spray. It works fast, and it's easy to use. Designed to work odor-free in all those remote areas. It works here. It's odor-free here. It works here. Blue Emu Continuous Pain Relief Spray. Fast-acting, easy-to-use, odor-free pain relief for all those remote areas. Available at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and other fine retailers. Welcome back here to What's Cooking Today, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Michael Horn with Eric Hines. And, uh, Michael, we got him. We got Michael Bradley, the CEO of the California Mid-State Fair. He's going to tell us all about this great Central Coast olive oil competition. Where'd you you find him, by the way? Where was he? Well, he was hiding under a rock out in front of the studio, but we were able to rustle him up and get him going. You know, you and I are big olive oil fans, and we're going to find out from Michael Bradley all about this great competition. Hey, Michael, welcome to the show. Good morning. Hey, Michael, glad we got you here on the show. He is the CEO, as uh, Eric mentioned, of the California Mid-State Fair. You've been doing this for a while. We checked you out, and, uh, boy, you have a your background is in agriculture, hands-on experience, marketing, community relations. You've uh, directed the Arizona National Livestock Show in Phoenix. You've been three decades as the executive director with the California State Fair, five years management uh, with the California Bureau, uh, Farm Bureau Federation. You've been uh, had tenure at Cal Poly. Is that Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo? Is that where you've been? The only one, yes, sir. Yeah, it's okay, good. I just wanted to make sure, and that's a good agricultural school. So uh, what's going on here now? The Mid-State Fair comes up, what, in the summertime, but you're doing an olive oil competition. Is that going to be on the fairgrounds, and where are the fairgrounds? Why, sure. Well, the, the uh, California Mid-State Fairgrounds are located in Paso Robles, California, right mm-hmm. here on the central coast, San Luis Obispo County. And we are having, uh, we do have a central, what we call a central coast olive oil competition, um, which um, actually takes place on April 19th. The judging does. Our deadline for entries is April 6th, and uh, the um, the competition is open to any olive oil producer in the state of California. So uh, you got a couple of days done. left to get your olive oil in to get this thing judged, right? Because the you're going to cl- entries close on the sixth. Is that correct? That is correct. That's right. So it's coming up mighty quick this week, and uh, we've got some outstanding judges that are. Um, World-renowned, uh, our chief judge is Mr. Uh, Paul Basson, um, who's in Santa Rosa, California, and is well-respected um, throughout the world, actually, in olive oil production and olive production itself, and several other judges that will be with us, uh, all from California. Too. Now, who, who can uh, enter their olive oil? If you do make your own and, you know, get olives and do it on your own as a side hobby at your home, or if you're a farmer or something, is there any limits on it, or can anybody that makes olive oil enter the competition in whatever category they might be? Well, number one, the, it's uh, 100% of the olives must be produced in the state of California. Okay. Um, and it must be, it's a commercial competition, which basically means that you're producing the olive oil for sale. Um, so it's a commercial venture as opposed to homemade olive oil. Um, so that would, we do not have a homemade competition, but there are some of those that are available to um, folks that are in that craft. Gotcha. So they, so- commercial. So the garagistas, the guys that make the olive oil in their garages, forget that. This is a commercial competition. So if you make olive oil, you sell it, you can enter this. you got till the 6th to enter it. And what happens? These guys taste it, and what are they looking for? What are the categories? Well, the, uh, the olive oil is, uh, is evaluated based on its flavor, um, based on its uh, consistency of flavor. Um, there's a range of, um, of flavor intensity uh, that, that the industry calls delicate to robust. Um, and that um, if you if you taste olive oil, it's, it's uh, it can be very very flavorful. Flavorful. The good product will maintain, um, uh, or oh, I guess tastes that are rather grassy. Some uh, some call it a uh, soil or um, uh, kind of a, a robust taste that um, would would be the flavor of the earth actually. Um, and so it's got an earthiness to it, Mike. Mike Bradley has got an earthiness to it. He's with the Central Coast Olive Oil Company. Explain to us, if you will, because people get confused, the difference between the extra virgin, the flavored extra virgin, just the virgin. What's the difference between those olive oils? Well, all that really means, all that the extra virgin or virgin olive oil really refers to is that 
the olive oil is produced um, um, or processed naturally without additional um, additives or uh, processing that would um, that would change the flavor, the natural flavor of olive oil. So sometimes when olive oil is produced in in vast quantities, um, you need to add um, some preservatives to it to keep it uh, shelf life going for a long period of time. And extra virgin olive oil has a, a shorter shelf life, and there and because of that, there's uh, it's more of a pure product. So, so they don't have the spray. preservatives and stuff in that extra virgin and the the, the virgin because there was a whole big olive oil scandal where people were putting the wrong olive oils in bottles and everything. And so you're really checking this out. You have your categories there. I, I noticed that the fair divided into extra virgin, flavored extra virgin because they do pump some flavoring in there. Organic extra virgin, and as we mentioned, flavored organic extra virgin olive oil. So is that the categories you're going to be judging on? The four main categories. Those are that is correct, and and really. Um, there's, in, Cali- in the state of California, there's a lot of, um, of uh, work being done in terms of uh, verifying the organic side of any and every product in the state. And so ver- olive oil is uh, one of those, and the olives have to be produced uh, and registered in that regard. So, And then flavored is really uh, much like a lot of our beverages that are uh, out there in the market today are infusions of different flavors that would add uh, consistencies and and different elements to the flavor of the actual olive oil itself. Now, can we go and taste? I mean, will, can the consumers come and taste during this competition or when the, the results are there? When can we go in and, and uh, learn about the great olive oils that we like? When's the tasting? Well, the, of course, the judging is close to the actual judges themselves. The right. Professionals will when can we as those. consumers taste the results? Is there like a competition where we can taste the olive oils later on that you have at the fair? Yes, so during the fair which is July 19 through the 30th here in Pastor Robles. You can do the, the tasting. Come on different days where different uh, producers will be featured during the Gotcha. Day. All right, where do we go to get more information? What's the website? So we're, we're at uh, midstatefair.com. Midstatefair.com. That's what you want to go to. M-I-D-S-T-A-T-E-F-A-I-R.com. Mike Bradley, thanks for being with us. We're going to learn more about olive oil and taste it when the fair comes up. Thanks for being with us. Mike and Eric, thank you very much. Come to Angela's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for our sizzling party.